What's going on everybody, LK here, and today a little bit more Guilty Gear for y'all. So I actually forgot to do this. I wanted to do this for a while. I wanted to talk about Kara inputs, especially since a lot of times when people talk about what's difficult to do execution wise in the game, one thing that always comes up is Kara inputs. So by the way, the game does teach you this. So once again, just like other advanced techniques like fuzzy jump, this is in mission mode. It's in the hell area. So that's like the five star difficulty area. So we have it here. We have the Kara pop buster. There we go. We got it. We got it. So the concept is pretty simple, actually. So the idea is his 6K has a long startup. Specifically, this move has 22 frames of startup, so it's actually a really long time. So, not just in Guilty Gear, but very common in just the 2D fighting game genre in general. If you have a move that has a long startup like this, you might be able to cancel it into another animation. So, this does help Potemkin out quite a bit because he can't, like, run. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but he, he, he can't run. I'm mashing the dash button. And compared to previous games, uh, his backstep is not as good. So his is in like a really good group. He has a lot of invincibility, but his old backdash used to be 21 frames total, 20 frames of invincibility. So that means, yes, one frame vulnerable. So compared to before, it's not as good. So he doesn't fare so obviously well when he's close using his backdash. He has to use like special moves like back mega fist, forward mega fist and stuff. But these moves, even like best range. The max range for forward Mega Fist probably around like here, but by using a Kara Mega Fist, you can greatly extend the range. So the good news is it's pretty easy to do in this game. The trick is you hit the two buttons at almost the same time. The game accepts inputs for a long time, so it's pretty lenient with this compared to some other fighting games. And personally, I would recommend to start with easier moves like Slide Head or Mega Fist because they're just quarter circles. So in Slide Head's case, you would do a quarter circle forward and then just press kick and slash at almost the same time, but kick first. You could do the same thing with Mega Fist. You could do the same thing with Heat Knuckle. So is this move. Uh, being able to car this move is pretty good because you can get from here to here extremely quickly and a lot of characters like hanging around at the middle of the screen against Potemkin outside of the range of 5h so if you wanted to do Kara heat knuckle you would have to do forward because normally it's a DP motion right so normally 623 so you can't do it with 623 because you need the forward kick right the 6k in the input so instead you would do forward and then quarter circle forward so 6236 kick and then heavy slash to do it Just like that the last one and probably like the hardest one uh especially if you're newer would probably be for pop buster uh that's half circle back forward p so you're literally just adding a kick before the punch since it has a forward in the motion it will greatly extend the range of your pop buster so there's normal pop buster and here's kara pop buster so kara pop buster max range is about round startish range you, this move is half circle back, so you actually would input it like Kara Pop Buster. So you do half circle back, forward, kick, into slash. So it will look like this when you do it right. Of course, he has Garda Impact, which means you will have Kara Garda Impact, which you do the same way as the Kara Flick. Because it has the same input as Flick, so Flick is half circle back S, Garda Impact is half circle back H. You do half circle back forward, KH, and you'll get the input. And you too can become a pro Potemkin player. But all jokes aside, even if you don't play this character, you should hop on Potemkin and learn how to do this. This is a good technique to know for fighting games in general. Anytime a character has this type of advancing move, ah, I should say any, but it's a repeating theme in fighting games like Street Fighter 4, Third Strike, Blaze Blue. Many games that I've played have a character, at least one, that has something like this. Normally, you see it just for throws, and it's really useful for throws because it 
it extends the range of your throw. And Potemkin has that in Potemkin Buster, right? So it's normal Buster, doesn't reach, and Kara Buster reaches from much, much, much further away. And despite the additional startup, it's still essentially really, really hard or impossible to see. So it's really good to add to your game plan. So if you're a Potemkin player hanging around like floor 10 or trying to get a Celestial, this is good to help up your game with him. If you don't play Potemkin, you should learn this anyway, in my opinion. Shout out to the mission mode in this game because the five star mission mode really does have a bunch of good advanced techniques. So there's stuff like fast RCs, which people just, they will grind combos so they'll learn it. But they have like Kara inputs, teaching you the basics of instant blocking, teaching you OS guard, uh, blocking highs and lows that don't hit at the same time. Fuzzy jump, which people ask about all the time, which is dealing with throws and attacks at the same time. So they have a lot of intermediate and advanced fighting game topics built into the game and people always ask about this and always ask for this so i think it does a pretty good job and even if you don't understand the first time as you play the game and you're like man like i don't i really don't know where i should go what i should do how i should improve coming here is a really good idea as usual if you guys have any questions or comments feel free to leave them in the comment section below like or subscribe if you guys feel like it and we'll see y'all next time peace out